Gareth Ainsworth uh, clung on for so long but is now out of the picture he has gone yeah. and then somewhat raised eyebrows because Queen's Park Rangers have appointed Hammaby boss Marty Sifuentes as their new head coach Swedish club Hammaby um, interestingly Zlatan Ibrahimovic owns a quarter stake in the Stockholm club Hammaby that must be a fun environment to work in yes indeed uh, so in comes this Spanish individual, Sifuentes, uh, who, who was in charge of Hammerby for almost two years. He spent almost a decade in management and has coached in the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Now, one name in the frame was a man you and I both know. You know much more about the man than me. And that was Neil Warnock. They haven't gone championship know-how. That seemingly gone out the window. Yeah. And they've gone for this fella. Might they rue that on this occasion? Do you feel that championship know-how to know the terrain you're going into would have been, should have been, top of QPR's list? Um, I don't want to be formulaic in suggesting that the only way you can achieve something in football is by going to people that know that area explicitly. I think it's a, a component part, a very useful and valuable component part. And given the predicament that Queen's Park Rangers are in, which is not the predicament that, say, Norwich City were in when they appointed Daniel Farker mm. or say Burnley were in when they appointed Vincent Company that have not necessarily got the experience in champions football, football. Yeah. or maybe even uh, Michael Carrick being at Middlesbrough or they, he understands English football but in a relegation battle there is a, there is probably a default setting in most people's minds that you go to people that can achieve an under, achieve A, the solution to the problem, B, understand the landscape and the logistics. And that's why Neil's name would have come back into the equation because of the oracle that he worked last year with Huddersfield, because of the achievements he's had previously at Queen's Park Rangers, Palace and wherever else he's been. But there is also, you know, Neil is a certain age and I think wanted a break. We've seen Graham Potter come in from Swedish football albeit he's an Englishman and had worked in English football before yeah. and come in and have a modicum of success at Swansea in the championship, which led him on to Brighton and so on and so forth. The guy's got a decent record. The Swedish league, whilst not the most competitive league, is still producing uh, teams that are performing in the Champions League and, 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 in, and, and, in, and in Europe to a modicum of decent standard. His side that he produced finished, I think, third or fourth last year. There must have been some research. The chief executive... At QPRs, nobody's full, Lee Hughes. He's been around long enough and around the game enough to know what may or may not be required. They identified Bill last year. Bill came in with no real credentials for being a manager and did very well for a period of time and did his Marco Silva impression by disappearing Marco Silva as he once was, not as he is uh, now. As he once was. Um, yeah. um, and yeah. so yeah. I, I have an open mind to this. Well, I think I mean, Hoos, I, you mentioned Lee Hoos. He's saying they've done their homework big time. Actually, you would expect them to have done. He yeah. said, Marty is someone we've been aware of. So we're really pleased to be able to security services. So th it's almost as if they're surprised to get him. Well, they were tipped. I mean, at the beginning of the season, they were tipped to be relegated from this division. Uh, last year, I remember having a conversation with the guy that does the football league stuff for us, and he tipped... QPR to go down and Gareth got them out of the shtuck, didn't he? Um, but back they went into it again this year. Um, and so there needs to be a change of thinking. There needs to be a change of thought process. And if they've done their research and the reasons that they believe that this guy's got the chops to get Queen's Park Rangers out of a very early... I mean, we've got a 46-game season in this division. What are we, 12, 13 games in? Mm -hmm. So we're about 25% of the season gone. Yeah, There's a lot to be played for. And I think QPR will be looking up rather than looking at a relegation battle. But like everything, like, like you know, we sit in a studio with, with Sunes this time last year debating the vagaries and peculiarities of Dezabi coming into Brighton because no one suggests that he's got a record that would that would dovetail into English football. No, Graham true, told him to true. spend his time looking at Google. Yeah. And here we've got a different discussion about a manager in terms of what Dezabi's done. Look, you can't turn... A sales ear into a silk purse, and Queens Park Rangers in the last couple of years um, have struggled. They've struggled at the back end of each. Even when Mark Warburton was getting them close, they always fell away again. Right, at right. Certain times, but they've that's really the struggled ownership. since Beal went. They now yeah. play, played fourteen one two. Yeah. They've got eight points, second from bottom. Sheffield Wednesday are bottom. Yeah. So I mean, already we're not even into November. They're beginning to count the matches. They're running yeah. out of time. 
Well, look, I mean, again, as I say, how many games have they played? They have played 14. 14, so yeah. they've got 32 games to play. Yeah. So there's a lot of games. No, you don't want to be at the bottom of the league at this time. Yeah. Be more concerned. I can tell you something. When we were third from bottom in the league in 2003 at Palace, mm-hmm. and I put Dowie in place, we got promoted for four months later. It's a right. long season. Right. Lots of things to play for. 31 you... points off the top. Well, forget about the top. That's gone. They're not mm. going anywhere in the top. But the moment, the big concern now is dropping into League One. Yeah, they don't want to be dropping into League One. There's new broadcast deals in in offing. There's an opportunity for perhaps Rick Parry's of the world to negotiate a new deal with the Premier League that can generate more revenue. Yeah, you want to be in the Championship now. If you, you know, obviously as a Championship club, you want to be in the Premier League. Sure. But as a Championship club looking at the trap door, you want to be in the Championship. So. There's a long way to go. Okay. They've, made, they've made a decision, and it was. It seemed to me like a, a sentimental decision. Gareth Ainsworth did a remarkable job at Wickham Wanderers with the resources that he had, but going to him was because he was a QPR, yeah, the latest yeah, person, yeah, yeah, a player legend. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.